So I'm going to give a short presentation on ActorTech. ActorTech stands for Access Control Time Maintenance Technology. So ActorTech has covered C platforms, security, workforce management, and payroll. And this is our company profile. And we also have won few awards in, in the in the year of 2004 and 2010. So here are the product awards we have won, and we also have got five stars for our product rating. And we also have offices globally, it's like Singapore, Hong Kong, UK, Canada, India. Thailand and Pakistan. And this is the ActorTech 3 web UI. Later we will be talking more about this. And these are the network options we have. So ActorTech also can be used as access control system and it also can act as CCTV which records everything and this is the overview of system diagram and so this is our global footprint and here are some of the examples Mary Stella High School also use our product Parliament of Indonesia, and the bank in Egypt, and Orchard Hotel in Singapore, and retail shop in Brunei, and Capco Petrochemical in Taiwan, Tetra Tetra Pak Singapore, and Dubai International Airport. Prudential Institution Singapore. And we also have got private house in UK. Thank you. Now we will talk more about the hardware. Uh, so this is the hardware of the device card protected. And you can you firstly you, you will check the model number of the device. And you can check it by pressing six times of the enter button. And the model number is at the top, which it supports 1K users fingerprint and it has camera and it supports pin. And you can enter the device by pressing the ID of A999 and the password of 1. You can add to those which, uh, which they support fingerprint and password. And you can <coughs> add the fingerprint of the user. And as you add the fingerprint for user, you can add three different fingers. And secondly, it has the user management, which activate the user, TV user, deactivate the user, view lock, and capture fingerprint. And for auto match, you can enable the user and de uh, deactivate the user. You can set the date and time from this setting. As for the IP settings, it has DHCP, subnet mask, IP address, gateway 
and DSI, DNS IP. And there's a terminal setting for the fingerprint copy, number of fingerprint samples, which IP and the unlock door, which you can unlock the door if you customize it. <coughs> and the reboot button which you will uh, restart the device itself. As for the reset settings, you can reset the event logs, reset the database, factory default, which will clean everything. For the factory default, you can um, <coughs> reset the whole settings of everything, like clear, uh, clearing the fingerprint samples. And lastly, we have the reset web port. And that's all. And as for the back of the attack, uh, this side is for the power supply of the device. This side is for the um, power supply of the device. And for this side is for the LAN cable. For the LAN cable. So um, as for the rest, it's for the customizations. Uh, so that's all. Thank you. This is the uh, Actitech homepage for the web UI, and the default login ID is A triple nine, and the password is one. And you can change your login level to Super Administrator to give us access to everything. So uh, once we go in, you can see this. This is the uh, homepage. So this is the terminal status, it will show you the model number of the architect you are using as well as the serial number, IP address and a bunch of other stuff. So on the left hand side you can see a column of all the options you have and uh, as you can see we have attendance report, daily report, view event log. So um, you can actually type in the username, we can type in 8999 and when we search it will it should show the uh, records found but this user doesn't have any record you can also export it into uh, text files you can click export and it will send as you can see it's the report text downloaded to my file and um, you can see you can list the users so we have 12 users in this active text system and uh, you can see the last name, the first name, the other name and if the account is active or not so let's go and add a new user <coughs> let's add A456 last name actor first name tech just put ASD just for demo and you can choose the uh, level you want for this account it can be user or super administrator and there's a bunch of other settings that you can do you can uh, put a smart card department you can choose what department they are from and the access group so let's add account a456 so now it's added and let's go to the user list and you can see a45 user has been added last matter tech ASD and it's it's active so now you can you can go to uh, user messages so user messages uh, is when the person is uh, logging in through the active tech system you can let's say a456 this is the user ID you can choose to type anything you want so show a message it will show on the actor tag itself if you choose the LCD screen or you can choose to send an email and you can type in the email over here and 
also notified by SMS. You can type in the number of the person here. And let's go to um, access groups. You can manage your groups over here. Currently in the sector tech system, we have general group, IT group, and support group. So you can choose to delete or add a new group. You can add a new group over here. You can choose support or general, and you can choose the name of the group. And um, we have holiday settings, and we have this. <coughs> this you can click the holiday. For example, Tuesday 28, you can make it a holiday. So there you go. And uh, you can you can see terminal clock. You can change the time of the active tech system through the web page over here. So you can auto adjust or manually change it. You can choose a time zone and uh, you can let's go to remote door opening you can open the door from the web page anywhere you are so you can open the door from here you click open the door will be open from there as you can see the door is open so we have a uh, firmware upgrade if there's an upgrade for your device you can download it and you can choose the file and you can upload to the xtech system uh, from the web ui and all you have to do is choose the file and press upload and the rest will be done by the xtech system and uh, we have the restore system backup system you can choose to download the file to your desktop and there you go you will download as a bin file and when you want to restore the system you can choose the file that you want to download this file and you can click upload and that's it